Official Tehran has sent a warning to several countries among the U.S. allies in the Middle East, threatening retaliation if their territory or airspace is used to attack Iran, the Wall Street Journal reports. The American publication citing Arab officials claims that four Middle Eastern and Gulf countries have received a warning through diplomatic channels. Tehran has warned that U.S. assistance in the form of providing its territory or airspace for strikes on Iran will provoke a response, including missile blows. Tehran has threatened through secret diplomatic channels to strike oil-rich Gulf states and other U.S. allies in the Middle East if their territory or airspace is used to attack Iran. The newspaper said, according to available information, the list of these countries includes Jordan, the UAE, Saudi Arabia and Qatar. The warning reportedly issued through secret diplomatic channels was a response to Israeli threats of a severe reprisal after Iran fired about 180 ballistic missiles at Israel earlier this month. Israeli officials have been advocating for devastating retaliatory strikes on Tehran's nuclear facilities and oil infrastructure, while the U.S. is trying to keep the response limited and avoid a broader war that could spill across the region. Moreover, American forces are present on the territory of all these countries, which could be used to strike Iran. Against this background, there are reports that the authorities of these four countries have already warned Washington that they do not want to quarrel with Iran. The escalating conflict between Israel and Iran has raised concerns among energy-rich Persian Gulf states about the safety of their own oil facilities. A senior advisor to Iran's supreme leader has warned Tehran could change its nuclear doctrine if Israel targets the Islamic Republic's atomic facilities. As Iran and the wider Middle East brace for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's response to Iranian missile attacks on Israel, Brigadier General Rasul Sanai Rad said striking nuclear sites could certainly have an impact on the calculations during and after the war. Some politicians have already raised the possibility of changes in Iran's nuclear strategic policies. Sanai Rad, a political advisor to Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, told Fars, an Iranian news agency, Moreover, such actions, an Israeli strike on Iran's nuclear plants, would cross regional and global red lines. Russia has redeployed about 50,000 troops to its Kursk Oblast, weakening its position on the battlefield in Ukraine. Oleksandr Sersky, commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine said this. Sersky noted that the Russians had transferred these forces from other fronts where they had been conducting offensive operations. We know that about 50,000 troops from other areas have been redeployed to the Kursk front, he added. The commander-in-chief emphasized that these actions by the Russian Federation have led to the weakening of Russian forces in other areas, particularly on the Zaporizhia, Kherson, and Kramatorsk fronts. This, of course, made it easier for us to conduct defensive operations, he said. The Ukrainian leadership said that one of the key goals of the operation was to divert Russian forces from Ukrainian battlefields. Sersky's figure is an increase from President Volodymyr Zelensky's estimation from September 19, when he said that 40,000 troops had been diverted to the Kursk sector. Even though Ukrainian forces continue to hold Russian territory in Kursk Oblast, the Russian offensive keeps grinding on in Ukraine's east. The Ukrainian military was recently forced to withdraw from Volodar, a town in the south of Donetsk Oblast that has withstood Russian attacks for two years. Heavy battles are also ongoing in Chasev Yar and Toritsk in Donetsk Oblast, and Russian troops are closing in on a key logistics hub in Pokrovsk. In the meantime, Russia seeks to dislodge Ukrainian troops from its home turf in Kursk Oblast, attacking Ukraine salient from the west. The main intelligence department of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry has released images showing the launch of the Bober drone to attack the Tkonskaya military airfield located near the city of Makop in the Russian Republic of Adygea. An explosion and fire occurred at the airfield as a result of a strike by a Ukrainian-made long-range drone. It should be noted that the incident took place on the night of October 10th. 
The operation was carried out by the General Intelligence Service, the Security Service and Special Operations Forces of Ukraine. L-39 training aircraft, Su-30, Su-34, Su-35 and MiG-23 fighters are located at the airfield, which is the location of the 272nd Training Aviation Base.